Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills, and we're about to do a play review on Man of the Match, Fernando Torres. I love Fernando Torres. I think he's a great player in FIFA 13. I thought he was a great player in FIFA 12. As you can see up on your screen, weak foot, four stars. Oh wait, yeah, weak foot, four stars, and his skill move is a four. He's a four star skiller, so. 4-4, four and four, that's pretty good. As his game stats are on the screen, I'm going to let you guys look at that while I say a few things. First of all, i got to give a quick shout-out to my man Bateson87 for coming through on the clutch and letting me use the man of the match, Fernando Torres, for this player review. Also, I want to say real quick, if you want some cheap reliable coins, make sure to check out the description down below for UT Coin Traders, cheap reliable coins. Now, all the game stats look pretty, pretty okay, right? You're looking at Fernando Torres and his acceleration, his sprint speed, everything looks pretty beast. The thing is, is that the the improve on fernando torres it, it's not by that much it's like by a stat or two and a lot of the a lot of the categories it's only by a stat or two it's not even really a big upgrade now when when i'm testing fernando torres when i was playing with him because i got him the day he came out he was sold the card i played with was bought for 1.5 million and i checked on the xbox market and he was going for over a million after i was done reviewing him so He's going for over a million at the moment. Probably when you guys watch this, he'll drop to maybe like 500k maybe. I'm not sure what he'll drop to, but he's going for a lot of money. Now, he's barely in a bit. It's upgraded just a little bit compared to his inform and to his regular. And, and let me just be 100% honest with you. I like his regular more than his man of the match. Yup. You're probably like, wait, what the hell did you just say, Skills? I like his regular more. Let me tell you why I like his regular more. His shot seems better on his regular compared to his man of the match. His pace is identical. His ball control is supposed to be more on his man of the match, but his ball control actually feels better on his regular card. So I was kind of blown away because usually when you get an inform, you're like, ah, this doesn't really feel like an upgrade. It feels about the same. This didn't feel like an upgrade. It felt like a downgrade in my opinion. I was playing him in a solid team and I was playing him in a 3-5-2 BPL squad with a real good defense. I was playing him beside Remy, it, it, and I had Sessegnon playing beside, behind him. So I had a solid team around Fernando Torres. I just didn't like his shot. I liked his finesse shot. I didn't like his, you know, when you just hold B or, or circle, when you just smash B or circle from outside the box. I didn't like that shot, and that's the most OP shot in FIFA 13. You know, when you do that near post or far post, that's more OP than the finesse shot. So you want a good, good, strong, powerful B or circle shot, and and it's just not there on Fernando Torres, I don't think. So I would recommend you guys sticking with his regular or maybe picking up his inform because his man of the match just wasn't that great for me. Remember, though, that's just my opinion. If you want to show try him, go, go splash those coins on him and give him a go. If you play with him, let me know what you think about him in the comments down below. But to the people who, who want to take my word for it, I would recommend you just playing with his regular or maybe his inform. But... This has been a Fernando Torres review, baby. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did it, like is always appreciated. Subscribe if you enjoyed the content by hitting that yellow button to the top right. Some more FIFA to the bottom right. Some Minecraft. I'm your boy, Double A Nine Skills. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bateson, thank you, fam. Booyah, my dear.